Hey guys, it's Hulk Tech. I uh, just wanted to give an update on the Yugi replica deck. This is the 40 card slim version. Uh, I will go through the history of some of these cards because some of them are going to seem unusual or not used in general by him, but everything will be explained. I will say that no cards are going to be from video games specifically, except for one, I believe. Uh, and there's a reason for that one. The video games, they can just edit the decks to be whatever they want. So, uh, I do not count those. It either has to be from the anime that he used, it has to be a card that he borrowed from someone in the anime or manga, a card that he uses in the manga, or uh, has voice files, which will be for that one card from the video game, so you actually get to hear the voice actor say the name of the card being used by him, or... Uh, there was one other thing. Um, the live action duels that they did at the championships where they had the voice actors duel. So I'll explain which one of those are which. Okay, so let's start off. Obvious Stark Magician. Breaker. Karibo. Sengen. Witch of the Black Forest. Obelisk, my god card of choice. I don't play all three, so this one overall works the best. The Tricky, uh, this one was used in the final duel with uh, Atem and Yugi in the last episode of the original series. Marshmallow, this was used by Yugi, not Atem, but Yugi himself in that same duel. Magician of Faith, uh, this is not originally in his deck. He borrows this from Teya to put into his deck when he goes up against uh, Bakura, which I believe is the first time that they duel against each other. Dark Magician of Chaos, uh, we do not see Yugi actually use this on screen, but we know that he uses this because in Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, he has a replica of his deck on display and it is stolen by the imposter Yugi. And the same goes for this card, Black Luster Soldier and Void the Beginning, but both of these cards actually have been used by Yugi on screen during the live action voice actor duels. Skilled Dark Magician. I can't remember if this was used in the show or in the GX deck or not, but he has used this in the live-action scripted duels. Pendulum Oracle Mahad. Uh, this one, I believe, was the final card that he used in the newest movie, but he does also use this in the live-action scripted duels. Gores. Okay, this one is going to be unique for some people. This is actually one of his ace monsters in the Yu-Gi-Oh! R manga. Magician's Robe. Again, I don't remember if he uses this in the final movie or not, but he does use this in a live-action scripted duel. Uh, actually, a lot of newer cards in here will be from that exact same duel. That was the most recent one that he had against Kaiba. But all these scripted duels you can look up on YouTube. They happened at... Um, Big championship. Same goes for this one. The same situation as Mitch's Rod. Can't remember if it was used in the movie or not, but he did use it in the scripted duel. That's it for monsters. Now for the spell cards. We'll start out with the obvious ones. Pot of Greed. Graceful Charity. Monster Reborn. Premature Burial. Hard Destruction. Brain Control. Sword Revealing Light. Eye of Tomitus. Magical Dimension, Mage Power, Shallow Grave, Mystical Space Typhoon, and Gold Sarcophagus was used by regular Yu-Gi-Oh! instead of a Tim in their final duel. Okay, now we'll get into the weird ones. So Heavy Storm was not used by him in a duel. He actually uses it during one of the filler sagas as a way of blowing away either a door or a field of monsters, like actual monsters that were attacking them. Uh, I believe he does the same with Dark Hole with one of those two situations, but I'm playing a different card instead of Dark Hole, and you will soon see. Change of Heart. Uh, this says two situations. I completely forgot one of the other cards that I said has voice files in the video games. This is the second one. But, that's not all. He also gets to borrow this card from Bakura whenever he's facing against the Dark version of him. Dark Magic Veil, uh, I believe he used this in the final movie, but he also uses this in a live-action scripted duel. Upstar Goblin, 
This is used by him in the live action scripted duel. Regeki. This is the one card that I was talking about. Uh, you do not see him use this on any shows or manga. Uh, I don't even remember if he uses this in a live action scripted duel. This card specifically has voice files of the voice actor saying that he is playing this card. You can look it up on YouTube. It is from Yugi the Destiny, I believe it was a PC game. But both this and Change of Heart, you can hear the voice actor of a Tim saying that he is playing both of those cards. Pot of Desires. This was only used during his final live action duel. Trap cards. Obvious ones. Mirror Force. Magical Hats. Magic Cylinder. Dark Renewal. And Zero Gravity. So that is it for the main deck. For the fusions, I only have the ones that are relevant for this deck. We have Dark Paladin and Amulet Dragon as our targets for the Eye of Tomitus. And the final one is an Exceed card, Ibon High Magician. He uses this, again, in the final live action scripted duel that he had against Kaiba. That is it. 40 card slim. As far as I can tell, this is the best version of a Yugi replica that we can build currently. Uh, any other cards that are related to Dark Magician or Yugi have not actually been used by him. There is one other card I'd like to include in here, but I don't know what to take out. That would be Cyberjar. Cyberjar was borrowed from Kaiba whenever he was facing against Noah in the anime. Alright, that is it. I will see you guys next time.